Hey there everybody, welcome back. Hopefully your day is going well for you. Today's hot sauce was sent in by Dub C. You need to check out his YouTube channel. He's been putting out a lot of good stuff there, been growing pretty rapidly. So make sure you check out Dub C's channel for me. So this is another hot sauce from Community Gardens. This is the Detroit Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Now, I don't know if this is the hottest one that they do. You better focus, camera. Oh, oh, hold on, get it to focus so I can get that thumbnail. Hopefully that did it, because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so I'm assuming that this is the hottest one they do. They do give it five out of five peppers. Very important, five out of five peppers. So I don't know. Detroit hot sauce is made with peppers grown in community gardens throughout Detroit. We partner with nonprofits and communities or and community organizations to produce fresh, locally grown peppers from Detroit's urban farms. Your purchase directly supports the gardens and gardeners who grew the peppers for this hot sauce, and that uh, that is pretty cool. And by the way, it's a uh, Small Axe. Small Axe Peppers is like the company. I guess I didn't really say that. Ingredients: We have apple cider vinegar, habanero, ghost peppers. Uh, sugar, tomato paste, mango puree, carrot, chipotle powder, and salt. Now, I've had some stuff with ghost pepper in it. It's not the hottest pepper in the world anymore, but it certainly went around. I remember Wendy's made a, uh, a sandwich that they put like a ghost pepper sauce on that I liked. I actually did like it. Only problem was that their chicken got a little bit off uh, for a while. It wasn't terribly spicy, but there again, ghost pepper is only as spicy as how much you put in it, right? But interesting stuff. Tomato paste. We actually don't see a lot of tomato paste in some of these, but tomato paste, mango puree, carrot. So they're trying to put some sweetness in here as well. And then that chipotle powder, so maybe we'll get a little bit more of a smoky flavor. And it is a thick sauce. It's a thick sauce. But I do like this whole kind of, uh, you know, helping out a lot of these community gardens and stuff. And, and Dub, Dub is uh, from Michigan, so I can see why he'd support it. I got to say, like, even despite, you know, being from Ohio and, like, supposedly all Ohioans are supposed to hate Michiganders, nobody really believes that. But, like, I used to go up in college. I had friends who went to school with me from Michigan and we'd go up to the UP sometimes and just have a ball. And then, you know, like the Ann Arbor area is actually a really nice area. I actually like going there. It's, it's fun. They have a lot of fun stuff to do. Oh, oh, this smells like the devil. Oh, this sauce smells like the absolute devil. I don't want to do it. We're going to can't. I'm just kidding. I'm going to shake it a little bit more because there's a lot of stuff at the top there. This smells like it is going to be horrible. And I have zero anything to cool me down. This is just going to be Dave eat, doing it raw. First take, raw. <laughs> God, what a terrible smell. Okay, well, whatever. There's, there's, there's some nice smokiness there. I'm going to do a little bit of a dab here first. That's not a little dab. But it smells rough. Like, it smells like... This sauce has been through some stuff, and it's like, I'm taking you with me. Let's try it out. Just get it over with. Execute me now. Okay, maybe that was a little, not enough. I will say this. Chipotle, very prevalent. I like it. Try a little bit more. Just little bits. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more. Oh, my stomach. I don't want to die, but let's, I got to get more. I have to have more. I have to have a big old dab here. Let's just do it. All right. Couple of things. 
It is not as hot as I thought it would be. But it is, it is, it's there. And it's going to be a roller. There it comes. It's coming in. It's coming in hot. The mango paste, definitely there. And it's, it's really kind of nice. Um, if you guys remember, a while ago I did the Tabasco Scorpion uh, hot sauce. Tongue is super watering right now. That they used, what was it, pineapple powder or something in it? I think it's pineapple and mango. And you get this hit in this of mango. It's like it lures you in. It's, it's nice and it, it's almost a little sweet. It is chunky. But the thing is, it's actually really pleasant. Like, but you cannot just have a little dab of it. You have to get into it a little bit more. Um, I would say that this would be an excellent wing sauce, I think, because it has enough flavor in it to where it's not just some yucky hot sauce. It actually has flavor which is kind of blows my mind a little bit because most of these hot, hot sauces, they're just taken over. The habanero is definitely covered up by that ghost pepper, but every now and again, you get a little bit of that unique habanero flavor. I think it's a little too hot to really differentiate the sort of, uh, the, any sort of the acid from the tomato paste and carrot nowhere to be seen. Again, re really the main flavor is, is the peppers, 100%, mango in the beginning, and then that chipotle powder basically throughout, which is, honestly, I think that was a really good choice. It evens things out a lot and provides a, an extra sensory sort of flavor there that just put, pulls it together nicely. So there you go, man. The Detroit hot sauce from Small Axe Peppers, Community Gardens Hot Sauce, really good stuff. I, I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm impressed. I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but I like it a lot more than what I thought. So there we go. To all of you at home, have you tried this sauce? Because if you have, I'd like to hear your comment down below. I, I, you know, tell me about what your heat level, you know, felt like. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave those in the comments as well. And uh, if you'd like to send anything in, P.O. Box is in the description. Also, Patreon link is down there too if you'd like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.